Two bears went out to see Brooksy today. Um, catch me if you can, coppers. Went on the run. Put a put a bunch of shit up. Well, he, here's some here's some new stuff about it, and then we'll get into the um, talking to him. Let's go. Three months he lived large while at large from the law. Come and find me. I challenge you. Repeatedly throwing down the gauntlet to authorities. I still haven't been caught and I'm still here. But after serving 15 months jail for drug supply and then breaching parole, David Brooks is now back behind bars. Whether you're wanted for murder or whether you've got a revocation of parole, we take it seriously and we will find you. Just days after emerging from hiding to speak exclusively to Nine News... It's the end of my patience, so I just took off to, just to try and re rebuild my life on my own terms. Are you worried that you may have made things worse for yourself by this campaign? My actions are very deliberate and they shall continue to be. Brooksy became wanted more than ever before. I'll give you a clue. I'm not in Fiji. Since February, the 48-year-old has taunted police via Facebook and YouTube, pretending in each post that he was often in exotic parts of the world. In reality, he was arrested by South Australia police yesterday during a vehicle stop at Williston in Adelaide's... Welcome, YouTubers, everybody. How are you going? Um, we're here today with Brooksy and Andrew Kirby. So there's a couple of different stories, but we're going to separate them. Um, Brooksy here was on the news a few years ago um, in the media for, if you remember, the Catch Me If You Can. I'll drop some um, little bit of content there so you'll, you'll get some context into it. Former bikey. Um, hey, so let, let's start with your story, um, Brooksy. Yeah. You grew up around... I grew up around Newcastle, mate. Yeah. Um, what, what was life like there? Were you in the housing commission and stuff like that? No, I grew up in like a pretty normal middle-class family. Yeah. My father died at six. Oh, yeah. My mother lost it. Yeah, and you remember him? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah. Okay. I remember my early years with my father, Alan. Yeah. A lot of love. Uh, my years from like six onwards. Yeah. Big for it. Oh, yeah. Because my mum, she didn't cope. Put your mind box shit out, eh? Yeah, she yeah. cope. We went from starting to go to orphanages and shit. And my mum went to hospital. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, like with the. Like in the foster home? Yeah, well, I went to a place with Ellen McKinnon down Cronulla, the Red yeah. Cross place, so he went to some other orphanage. Yeah, and we come back after one month, when she could cope again. Yeah. So then we went to foster home. Yeah. I went to a girl's home. <laughs> a girl's home? <laughs> yeah, at least my own was Cronulla Manor. Oh, yeah? Well, um, I, was I, was only, I was only young, but it, they took me on. I was uh, only. I usually put girls for some reason they put me on. Oh, yeah? Oh, because you were young? Yeah, I was too yeah, young to appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I was too young to appreciate it. Oh. But, um, but then from there I started talking about... <laughs> went to Waramai. Waramai, it? boys home? Yeah, boys home. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a space before the bank here. Oh, yeah? Uh, boys and girls. Yeah. As well. What age were you? I was 14 then. 14, yeah. Yeah, I first got arrested at 14. And, um, yeah. But, just like, like kid shit, like, like stealing cars and nah, got, fighting? Or... I, I got charged with that. Um, it's called uncontrollable child. It doesn't even oh, exist yeah. It doesn't I exist. remember that back in the day, yeah. Yeah, so what they've done, they've Your put, parents could put you in, eh? They put me in, they pulled me out of my home at 2 o'clock in the morning in my little pyjamas, some of yeah. pyjamas, threw me in Maitland's house wow. with an adult prisoner. I mean, like, there's my introduction. And uh, I'm, I'm lucky, it's a good job. Yeah. That was a good fellow. He gave me cigarettes and that, but um, after that, then I was in jail back home, got locked up. Yeah. Went through the refugees, group um, home, got back in church. Your siblings? Did you see your siblings in this time? Or? Yeah, I mean, and uh, oh, yeah. Like really? because during that time, uh, I lost my brother to suicide. Oh, right. Uh, so, right. after that, I, at 17, I was on the street, so I was yeah, from Sprout. Yeah. Mission. Were you using or just, just homeless? I wasn't using as such. Yeah. Like not uh, I'd not get on, heavy? Not heavy, no. And I'd get on the, uh, just on the go in the street. Oh, yeah. But more, more homeless, drinking a bit, homeless. Uh, just a street kid. Yeah. Running around with our punks and skinheads. And yeah. <laughs> just, just running amok. Oh. Uh, then I, I settled down. Yeah. Uh, so you came good, you came good for a bit? I came good for a bit, like I, around between 18 and 22, 23, like yeah. I, went, I went worse, I was selling yeah. drugs, um, on the 
party scene at yeah. raves and it is in Sydney still? In Sydney, yeah. yeah. Mainly ecstasy and oh, yeah. trip and shit. Yeah. Uh, but then I got married. And yeah. I went to Melbourne. I was a good boy. Yeah. For a long time. So. That, that happens when you, like, when you want to change, you really got to get away from that area, eh? Like, yeah. there's so many triggers and people and, like, yeah. yeah. Plus, then we had kids and, and I was trying to do the right thing for my kids. Get, get them in a good area. Yeah. I still had my own company. I yeah. built up a successful construction company. Yeah. Then when my marriage broke up, I lost it. Like, um, yeah. I can't blame anyone for my company falling down. It was me. Yeah. Like um, having a company in Melbourne and flying up to Sydney and getting on the coach. Oh, yeah? <laughs> why your missus was at home not knowing? No, no, know? no, no, we broke it up. Oh, you that's broke why, up that's, then, what, yeah. that's why I lost it. Oh, yeah, and then you went down. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I went down there. Yeah. So then I started... So you came back to Sydney to get on the coach? Yeah. Just like... Where you used to do it, like in Sydney, in the city. In Sydney, in that, but because I, I was, um, all my family was from Sydney. Yeah. And I thought, I just felt like I had to like that moment. Yeah. My family was gone, or still my energy. You just wanted that feeling, eh? Like, yeah. yeah. Just want to come up and hang around my friends. And, yeah. yeah. Um, but then I started working again, but then, I don't know, life, life just took a downward spiral after my marriage broke yeah. up then. You lost the company? I lost the company. And you got, got back into crime? Got back in the prime and um. Like what? What type? Like selling again or? Yeah, so, selling drugs. Um. Just doing stupid shit. Like, yeah. Um, I remember that, that family at, at the traffic lot. Yeah. My club was just closed and I couldn't do anything. Oh yeah. And I had that much smoke from there at the time. Yeah. And the smoke started fire out. And there's around the corner the club was closed. And, um, I didn't realise um there was cops outside. Crowd control. Oh, yeah. And they see me doing this burnout. And I was like, spun around the corner and straight at it. And they don't come in over the road. Oh, yeah. And like, I was just a dickhead. I, I didn't even I stopped 50 metres up the road. Yeah. Got out of the car. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the next minute. And I was actually, that was actually the uh, rubber lord last night. We meant to go to the city. Yeah. Not. I still would have been. No, no oh, we yeah, sat no. on a unit in Manly, lived in a car park, listened to the sirens, got everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't go. Yeah. Um, they didn't find me, but they found me a month later. Oh, yeah. So they knew it was you, yeah. They, they yeah. knew it was me. Come and got you. And how, yeah. long, how long? So you went to jail then? No, I was going to. I played it down there, maybe in the driving or some shit. Oh, yeah. And, uh, they, they was really looking at me first. Yeah. But I, I proved it like I didn't actually try to run them over. Unless you just lost control. Well, the, for the, me to do that, they would have had to be standing in front of my car. Oh, yeah. And there's already yeah. a lane. Yeah. Yeah. Can't steer sideways. Yeah. But, um, so, I don't know. I've gone to do this shit for not too much, but I was just doing dumb shit. And, um, yeah. Probably the smart crime, but I've never been a criminal like breaking in this or yeah. dishonesty or. Or the white collar crimes. Yeah, or none of that. Or, yeah. Yeah. So, when I was a juvenile, my. Yeah, with some of the boys in the hometown. Yeah. We broke up, I remember we broke up the tennis club. Yeah. And all we've done was play the pennies. Oh, yeah. Play the pennies, made the lollies. It's a big chess board. Yeah. And, um, my, my crime was more, more to do with drugs. Yeah. And yeah, selling. Yeah, addiction, yeah. I was a bit addicted, and so, yeah. but I had a habit. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the police attention come on once about us. Yeah. So, Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I won't. I won't talk about club not People yeah. know me. They know. Yeah. But um, if, if you want to be a criminal in this world, and um, don't you know someone? Like, yeah. <laughs> you, you basically put the target on you. Yeah. Um, People ask me that too. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. oh, do you know this club can you introduce me? I'm like, nah, bro, not a chance, you know. But see, originally, yeah. originally I went there. Yeah. Not to be criminal. I love motorbikes. I love riding. It's like tattoo on your face when you're a criminal. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not a good idea. Yeah. Well, it's like yeah. they walk down the street and they're wearing a t shirt that says um, FTP or fuck the police. Yeah. And they've got nouns in their pocket. Yeah. And and next minute they're pulled over. They're pulled over. They've got fucking thongs. Yeah. Like, they're fucking um, targeting me. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it's a bit like the bikers. So, but I didn't join the bikers to um, be yeah. criminal. I, yeah. I just like, I love riding. Yeah. I love the brotherhood. And the brotherhood. And yeah. then you realise. The brotherhood's not really there. Yeah. As it has been in the years before. Some. Yeah. And but there, there like is the old school bike. The old school, yeah. yeah. It's not like that anymore. And it's, yeah. It's, um, I don't like the word, but it's shock and shock. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. To get to the top, yeah. Yeah. 
she's having money, money drugs, yeah. Money drugs, she's yeah. Money, but what that does for me was I put that Yeah. I put that up. My wife becomes healthy. Yeah, that's the major life health. They, they made my life health. They're under, they're under control of operation. Yeah. Um, but Kelly and myself. Um, the same, um, same Raptor undercover. Same one they put up. I was talking to him to uh, sweep it there, Paul yeah. DeMarco, the yeah. rubber from Rose Tattoo. It was mixed up with the guns with uh, Sam. And it was the same, we worked out as the same undercover bloke because. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was like a big bodybuilder, like a chair. Real smooth stuff. Oh, yeah? But, um, the undercover raptor. Undercover raptor. They're yeah. big boys, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And, um, <laughs> I don't know where they find them, bro. Like out in the country, they're somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, but, yeah. but the thing is, like, um, I kind of knew. Yeah. I kind of knew things weren't right. Yeah. But I wasn't in a position to question it. Yeah. Because I've always been smart when I'm doing my own stuff. Yeah. And trust me, I've been those things in my life. Yeah. I have done my own stuff and um, I won't talk on that because there's yeah. a statute of limitations. And yeah. Um, but I've got away with it. Yeah. But there, I've got away with nothing. And trust me, they, they stitch me up. Yeah. And they will. They do it a lot. You know, there's some, there's some cops out there that go by the book, but then there's a lot that. They just get so fucking dirty and they know they can get you. And to them, that's a victory, you know, even not getting you the right way, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and the way they got us was the absolute dirty way. They, yeah. they got my car and my son yeah. on synthetic drugs. Oh, yeah. You remember the shit you used to yeah. have in the back of this? Yeah. So what uh, point? What, what, what revolver? The um, Coke. Fake yeah, Coke. The Coke, fake Coke, yeah. the fake speed, um, the product and that. Yeah. And... Fucking but shit, I didn't think it was. I, did, I did, honestly yeah. did not believe it's illegal. It was, I'm, I'm, going, I'm driving the city to do a drop. Oh yeah. And I wasn't even making money for it. I was just just helping out, you know. Yeah. And the council two sit on the seat next to me, like in plain sight. Yeah. Because I thought it was legal. Yeah. And um. So when they finally got us and they come back from that, this one was legal. This one wasn't legal. This one oh, they yeah. changed. So half of the yeah, because so, they kept changing the comp, the little compounds and shit like that, and they kept then they'd changing. have to keep illegalising them and shit. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and it was real funny because when I'm going, when I'm getting sentenced, my um, QC said, "Oh, you've got to go on the stand and um, show remorse." And yeah. I said, "I've got no remorse." Yeah, I, I understand no remorse because I, yeah. I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. Yeah, and but. I can now look back and see I am remorseful yeah. because I, the way the way I found my remorse out was I looked at it and said I wouldn't want this stuff handed to my kids. Yeah, yeah. So and everybody's somebody's kid, yeah. Everybody's somebody's kid. And but I was just so caught up in that world and illusion. I was caught up in hating police, yeah. hating the system. I was blinded. Yeah. But I had reason to be because when Raptor came into my house, yeah. Remember they when they yeah. decided they had a hard on something. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting pulled over. Well, not just by Raptor, a uh, special mention to the um, Special Operations Group in oh, yeah. Newcastle. Special mention. <laughs> S-A-G, yeah. S-A-G. <laughs> S-A-G. Um, what's his name? I used to call him Norman McDonald. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bealey and um, Redcliffe. Oh, yeah. Always there, always pulling me over. Hello, David. How are you? How the fuck do you feel, bro? Yeah. <laughs> but I, was, I got pulled over, no word of a lie, in, um, within a year, probably about 70 times. Yeah. Car ripped apart, searched, this and that. Nothing, not one thing found in the pullover, yeah. except... Um, Except that um, they found a single round, yeah. 22, which I had as a poker. You know how you had to play poker and you had little lucky charms? Oh, yeah. It was in my toiletries bag. It wasn't even for anything. Yeah. I had that there, so I was done with that, and um, a friend of mine gave me a license. It wasn't mine. So I got goods in custody. That's the only, out of all the pullovers they got me. Yeah. And that pullover was quite funny, actually, because I was coming out of Tamworth. Yeah. On my own, in the car. The cops come, pass me, spun round, and he goes, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, why? And he goes, because I did the tattoos on me, I had a one percent on my neck. He goes, I saw the one percent. I said, you're going 100 kilometres that way, I'm going 100 kilometres the opposite direction. Yeah. I saw the tattoos. Fucking eagle, eh? Yeah, I did. I was hitched up. They had information. Yeah. And it wasn't even my car. It's the first time I've ever used that car, oh, so yeah. I don't know what happened next. So they were watching when you picked it up or something, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Oh, I didn't even have, no, I didn't even have anything. I was going to Tamworth like, for, um, for the club wasn't at the time for, oh, like, yeah. a dude, just a piss up. Yeah. But anyway, 
it has to be the case. Yeah. And then uh, after I got out in December, I wanted to better my life. Yeah. So I got into university. Yeah. Go over. I was in uni before I got locked up. Yeah. And parole wouldn't let me go to. Uh, yeah, I, that's I've interesting. Done, that, eh? Yeah, I've done nine months of life. You know, in jail now, so when you're asking to do things that are going to better your life, it's often that they don't give a shit. It's just what they want you to do. Well, that's right. Yeah. And, and there was this crap. I um, I was over Perth, but I was flying from Perth to Melbourne and working and going back to uni. And my cousin's called, and Raptor was going around to her house. Yeah. And um, put pressure on her. Then some of my friends. I was a suspect for shooting so Yeah. I got sick. I got sick. I rang up Newcastle Police. Asked the rapper up there. He said, Listen, leave my family alone. Uh, for this shooting, I can't have gone. Yeah. And that did it. He's a student. I'm not going to be there. So he said, Yeah, mate, he's going to be there. Oh, they really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, then parole comes. Yeah. And I, I'm begging, please look. I'm three months there. I'm here doing my duty. On the right. Yeah. I'm not preaching. Yeah. So that, that's why I turned the line. I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm going to stick it to this. And uh, the, the first start is very on Newcastle Police page, on the yeah. LAC page, on the wanted, Facebook. Yeah, on the Facebook yeah. that I wanted to picture for me. Yeah. So I'm in there in the comments. And <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. And, um, I'm arguing, like, people call me a fried cunt and this and that, and yeah. maybe a year before it was. Yeah. But I was at uni, I was studying, I was honestly, like, and I'm just arguing sensibly with these people. Like, yeah. Not, not, not attacking them. Yeah. And they had nothing, so the cops banned me from the page. Oh, yeah? That's that's Newcastle Police, like, they banned me, they banned the guy they're looking for. You yeah. Can, they can't get on Might drop some clues, eh? Yeah. So I said to my parole officer, listen, you just don't let this go. Yeah. I said, I'm going to make sure you get there, yeah. Like, yeah. And I'll never forget her words. She goes, she's delusional. Yeah. <laughs> I'm delusional. <laughs> Next week, it's flying up. She'll be more than that. And they're saying, well, the papers, they're channel lines ringing me up. And they haven't done any news. Yeah. Um, I just got a bit too Posting videos on Facebook. Posting videos. Yeah. A lot of it the news didn't see. A yeah. lot of it the news didn't see. You scroll down my Facebook page. Yeah. It's still up there. They still haven't it's still even taken down. Yeah. I put a picture up of the cop in his whole uniform, smiling at that. I put his phone number and his address. This guy's oh, a yeah. rapist. He was. He was a rapist. Oh, yeah. He raped this guy. And um, I got a bit worried about that one because he was in the Golden Police. Yeah. And that's why I got released from for that place. Yeah. Was, he's going to be sniping me when I get oh. out. But I've done that and half the shit the, the media didn't see. Yeah. I was just, uh, towards the end of it, I was just... Morning, man. So then I was taking the costumes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I started putting bandanas on and hats, and <laughs> even though I knew what I looked like. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I full on started threatening them. And I'll say this now on this video. This is a real funny thing. What, what were you threatening them with? That, that I had details in it about corrupt. Oh, yeah. Half the world, yeah, but, making it up, yeah. yeah but here's one, yeah. Though, here's one that I've done. I've played some wide, and I, I put this post up about two hours before I actually got arrested. I didn't know I was going to get arrested. Look, so, I'm going to have a game. Okay. I wrote, a cop has just um, emailed me. Yes. And I said, he's asked me that, uh, he said, I hear you've got information on dirty police. Have you got anything for me? I said, nah. Uh, he said, listen, if you have, can you please keep it away? This is all bullshit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you please keep it away. And in good faith, I'll send you a list of all the informants in the state. Oh, yeah. So I wrote to I had a list of all the informants. Did you put that state. online? I put that online. So people would have been Please freaking out. People are inboxing me. It's my mum's name. I was just playing mind games. Yeah. They were having a bit of fun. But then I thought, how am I going to get out of this? I'm, 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 well, I've got to do my homework, double check it, and make sure it's um, you know, you can't just put things out. They can yeah. Play. And then I got arrested. So I didn't matter. <laughs> like, I've got the list. Yeah. Yeah, so how did they arrest you? They um, okay. just ran them all? No. They knew where you were? It's quite funny. Chick. <laughs> chick. I knew this chick from Adelaide from online and, and yeah. used to hang around Vikings. Viking pages. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'll suss her out. Because my plan was I'm going to Adelaide. Yeah. From Adelaide I'm going up to North Territory. Yeah. I go on that Uluru. 
I was going to give myself up there. Okay, yeah. it's got to be kept. Guess yeah. what? It was a big plan. So it was on my way to do that. Um, so I've gone to this chick's place. She said, let's go out to Like you're in a movie, eh? You need the ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go to the pub. I said, okay. She said, oh, don't go to this pub because it's certain gang weeks here. It's a very... I don't care. Let's, let's just go to the pub. It was all weird at the pub. They yeah. said to me, I'll take the cap off and turn it around. And, and what do you want me to give up the phone or something? Oh, yeah. But then some weird shit happened with the machines and they had to get people out there and she's trying to get bits of sense out of it or whatever. It was just all weird. The nah, this is nah. well, What they were actually doing, I'm getting video confirmation. Like, oh, yeah? Okay, and then I was like, I said, I've got to go. I'm going. And so we threw from this pub. And up ahead, there was, at the, there was a roundabout, and there was robots, cops. There was a cop going straight ahead, yeah. cop to the right, and she's going, turn left here, turn left. I said, no, fuck that. I said, which way's your house? And I, I drove straight to the roundabout, where the cops were, yeah. and went to the left, and just kept going. So I, was, I didn't, I wasn't at Star Spot. Yeah. I got away that night, and I was meant to be caught that night. Oh, yeah? I promised I was going to be caught. Then she said, no, you can't sleep in my place, just, you know, whatever, my ex might come, or whatever. She goes, sleep down here. It's a good spot down here. And um, I didn't sleep with you. Yeah. And then the next one will come back to the place. What are you doing there? But anyway, she goes, she was taking me somewhere. Oh, yeah? To get on. Yeah. She get like, I said, I didn't really want to go, but I'm going with her. And it was real funny because I, I was going to, I had a cigarette and she had a kid with her. Yeah. I wasn't going to smoke in the car, kid. And I said, nah. She goes, nah, have your last smoke. I think that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. Anyway, put it out. And she's directing me here now. And I'm on the freeway with barriers. Like that. Yeah. She's great. I couldn't have. The cops come in. Like my plan, my plan is always to put on pump a chase. Yeah. The reason I wanted to pump a chase was... I thought Raptor was going to absolutely panic. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to get on the cop and we'll charge and then stay on him so I can held there for six months or something. Oh, yeah. So then, go, yeah. then get extra time. Yeah. So that I couldn't get pumped. Because yeah. I honestly thought I was going to get pumped on Raptor. Yeah. And uh, I thought, I'm going to pump the chase, but I'm going to wait. Because I was very conscious not to be feeling more attention to it. Yeah. I just wanted to do the balance of my problem. Um, she said, what are you going to do? And I said, look, they don't know me. I was in a car with Western Australian plates. I was in South Australia. I was slow, I don't know. Bullshit. Come in, David. Um, I didn't pump a chase because there was a kid in the car. Oh, and, yeah. Um, I just pulled straight out. That was putrid. But I was set up. So tell yeah. me how I get pulled over the freeway like that. And there's yeah. media there at that spot. Oh, yeah? The media was there. Um, Waiting for you, yeah. And cops every, from everywhere. It wasn't a yeah. random pullover. Um, and the only way I got there... She directed you. She directed you there, yeah. That's why she was wondering why you were there the next morning. Yeah, because I was meant, I meant to grab me from down the road. It's meant to be clean. And you didn't go there, yeah. And, but you know what? I'm not angry. Yeah. Shit happens. You know? yeah. I, I knew I was going to get caught. Yeah. I wasn't. If I wanted to go on the run, stay on the run, I wouldn't be. Yeah. She knows that. Yeah. Just a matter of time. Yeah. So what I enjoyed about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was, um, I was trying to put them on show. Yeah. The way they put their show. Yeah. I just wanted to, I was just having a laugh to myself. Yeah. But also, I was all... You would have been angry too. Like, you're fucking... I was angry, but... You're trying the... to move forward with your life and doing something positive. Yeah. And you get breached on it. Yeah. But with yeah. the media too, I was also... I was talking to them about prisoner rights. Yeah. Family rights. Family breakdown. I was trying to do everything that was wrong with Right. Why you have the attention? I'm trying yeah. to do the attention and try and make something good out of it. Yeah. But the way the media has done it, they cut, you know, cut that out. Cut that out, yeah. And yeah. Then, As they do, yeah. Then the next minute, I'm, you know, I got, got the goals and finally. Now, uh, I've rang one of your mates, and you can't see on the phone. And she said, oh, you're famous. And I'm, no, I'm not famous. Yeah, uh, can style fugitive who taunted police in videos he posted online while on the run for two months has been arrested at Williston, north of Adelaide. Jessica Adamson was at his court appearance. 
48-year-old David Brooks, who claims to have bikey links, faced the Elizabeth Magistrates Court this afternoon, accused of breaching his parole. He was arrested on the Sturt Highway yesterday afternoon after South Australian detectives stopped the vehicle he was in. Brooks was serving time for drug matters, but was granted parole in February and has been on the move ever since. He's taken to social media in that time, taunting and ridiculing New South Wales detectives in what he dubbed memoirs of a wanted man. They all just a quick morning video. Hello, still living large on the run, walk, sit. Well, actually, I'm not running at all. I'm just doing my thing. And a shout out to the detectives at a police station. Fucking anywhere. Get your together. You still haven't found me. Okay, I'm not that f***ing hard. I'll give you a clue. I'm not in Fiji. I plan on handing myself in tonight. Um, I'll be at McDonald's. I'll have um, 10 Big Macs, 2 fill of the fish, 5 thick shakes, and 7 large cokes. And I'll give it to you detectives for your hard works and rewards for capturing me. Ha 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 Just f*** with you. Go f*** yourselves. Detectives from the New South Wales gang squad were in court. Are you happy to have you, man? Yes, very happy. Uh, Thank you very much to the uh, South Australian Police. Brooks showed no emotion. Brooks will be extradited on a Qantas flight back to Sydney tomorrow morning, where he'll serve out the remainder of his parole time, two months and 29 days. I've got to go to the next week. Yeah. I'm sitting there. Where's your one? There's no one in the car. Yeah. He said, did you want more beer? And then he saw me all that. David! Oh, yeah. I knew him from Zara, from a year or so ago. And well, I've got the everyone's in the reception, in the, uh, where the papers are, or in the offices. Yeah. Waiting for me. Oh, yeah. They knew I was coming, because, you know, you've got your bed placements up. Yeah. They see me laying there. Oh, yeah. See yeah. me coming, yeah. And it was like, it felt too good to be true. I thought, no, this is important. <laughs> I'm waiting for the crash. But, um, yeah. it's all good. But, um, there's some funny calls there. Like, yeah. Yeah. Kind of Chief, he's a celebrity. Get him out of here. <laughs> but, um, so you eventually got out in? Eventually got out um, in the 18th, 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 18th of August, I think it was. Yeah. And it's quite funny. Like, how many people have you seen get released and they say to the screws, please don't open the gate yet. Wait till yeah. the taxi comes. Oh, yeah. The media was out there. Yeah. And Wait, well, yeah. the governor of the governor of um, Goulburn come over yeah. actually to see me. He goes, son, there's media out there. Um, you made a bit of a fuss. He goes, can you put in a good word for us? I'm not telling you. Are you serious? <laughs> it's like, a great place in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah the screws really looks after me. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I've, I've asked him, went to the taxi, then I opened the gate. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to start to be chattering with them, yeah. Just start walking, man. Fucking taxi pissed off. He oh, got yeah. spooked by the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here I am. I had to walk from the Golden to the station. And I'm oh, yeah. in the media, and this, I remember this bloke lugging his massive camera. And I've got, you know, have a heart attack, mate. They're following me around. And All not, the way. Yeah. I'm about, rather than have like a minute or two, and they're not half an hour to sound them. Yeah. Yeah. But I got to the pub, as you did. Yeah. I walked in, and there I was on breaking news. <laughs> and, and I said, and I said, I wanted JD and the camp to the cameraman. Yeah. I said, you heard me. Yeah. <laughs> but it was quite embarrassing because I got to um, Sydney eventually, yeah. and one of my mates from Newcastle says, oh, I can I'll rent you a bunch of car, like a sports car, yeah. pick it up at the airport. I was like, no, I'm just like, I've gone to go there, and you know, in the central station, uh, Underground, I yeah. want to go out there. Yeah. I'm down there, packed, like, yeah. stick, and the big screen. Oh, yeah. And there's me. Yeah. I was still in the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, it was, it was sort of embarrassing. Yeah. It was embarrassing. Uh, yeah. But you live and you learn. Yeah. Uh, it took me a couple of years to shake it up. I, like, I, didn't, let, I didn't do that for attention. I didn't yeah. plan it. One thing led to the other. And then I just, I just, I just, I just, yeah. Um, Personally, I did enjoy it. Yeah. I did enjoy it. But I had a lot of hatred for the, for the system back then. Yeah. Uh, I had a lot of hatred for the gang squad, the rap all that. Yeah. General cop did probably because I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. They had nothing to do with me. Yeah. 
Quando eu consigo ligar, só os pombos aqui, só para... If it's just a normal customer and he's knocking on the door saying someone's son's died or something, yeah. I can do that as well. Yeah. But I, I, I won't speak out against him now. Yeah. Um, I've got no reason to because yeah. it's not part of my life. Yeah. I don't want him part of my life. I'm not yeah. for a crime. Um, do you know what? Crime, crime is, is absolutely fucked because you think you're hectic and that, but you're not hectic. Yeah. I guarantee the first time everyone goes to jail, I'll sit down there and they hear their door close up and sit there. Yeah. What the fuck they've done. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's tens of thousands of people sitting in jail that haven't, you know, that aren't successful. Well, yeah. you don't know many that are sitting there with their feet up in a mansion and fucking drawing out the road without the police, like the police. Yeah. Yeah. I went to court uh, it's two it's weeks ago. shit like, yeah. I went to court two weeks ago with a friend of mine. She's uh, 40. She's had a, like, a bit of a battle with crime here, there, and everything. Yeah. 40 years of age. She got sent, and I felt for her. Yeah, she got, she got yeah, first time two years. Yeah. She got eight months at the bottom. Um, wow. I watched the go out the court, and she was shattered. Yeah, but you have forty years of age, and you yeah. come And I, I felt for her because I knew, I knew how she felt. Yeah, and people don't realise that. Yeah. yeah, and as you will say, as you will know, when you get the jail, yeah. all your bros aren't there. No yeah. one's there. Uh, you're stressing to get visits, you know, yeah. I, I didn't want visits. <laughs> Yeah. So, same thing. Yeah. Because they always, you know, they like away. Yeah. I suppose they're away in two parts of people. Man, yeah. Everyone who says it's going to do this and going to do that, no one's there. Yeah. And you basically get it, right? And then you start to think that people in jail matter. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, these people are better, you know? Yeah, the problem. Yeah. But then you get out and yeah. they forget about you, too. Yeah, but then, yeah. Then, then, then you're out, but then, as you know, then the people you never put them in problem. Yeah. Oh, when I'm out, I'll come and, you know, yeah. and then they don't, and then see them again. Yeah, so, yeah 100%. So, but, um, yeah, actually, one said, just one quick sad story from Jala. When I got released from Nara, there was a guy I went through, I first met him at John Maroney. Yeah. I knew his father from Maitland. Yeah. He grew up down um, Nara. Yeah. Steve down there. Uh, I was in South Coast Correctional with him there. Same time kind of pushed him along because he was unfit and that and yeah. whatever and I was going to meet him he, it was funny he was two weeks older than me and he got out of two weeks or something before me oh yeah and then uh, he said uh, I'll meet up with you when I get out I waited for him yeah it was strange yes I turned up and I didn't know 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 Sydney I found out he died oh yeah